Reignite. Game. I want to applaud whoever made the respawning, continuing thing reigniting. I love it. But one second. Uh... Oh, Llama says, It reminds me of a lot of how you'll see those user-made Unreal Engine mods in video game scenes. Like, like this remake is very nicely done. I know, right? It's so good looking. Ow! Ow. Need to relearn how to fight these dudes. Roll away. Roll away in fear and death. Okay, can't charge through them. Lesson learned. Nope. But yeah, it just looks so good in color. Damn you! I hate how you home! I've always hated you! They've hurt me for all these years, and they haunt me still! I fly away from you! But yeah, this just looks so good and love it! Even if I... S even if I do suck at this one part! Damn you! I've always sucked at this one part! But I just love it so much, I can't get angry. Ah, they can hit you in the air. No cheese in this factory. Okay. Do it and run! <laughs> That's how you do it. Hit and run tactics, belly bones. Dang it, missed. Up. Ow. Ah, somehow I got out of that. Weird. Not getting me. I have my tactics now, you fool. While it is embarrassing to die to this game, even though I'm a big fan of the series. Oh! I did it again. The wall. The wall. The wall is my doom. The wall is my gloom. And it forever will be. Great, now I have, like, PTSD from these things. I remember how you kicked in my ass. And now I run, and I come back, and I run, and I kill. <laughs> and I shoot, and I miss. And I shot, and I miss, and I got some ice cream. Eh? Wasn't there, babe, babe. Ah! I, I would have missed this. Hmm. That doesn't stand out as much as it originally did. Nope, nope. Thank you, Wall. You saved me this time. There was a there was a whoosh sound. There was a whoosh sound as the dog went off the cliff. I love that. I love that. Like so far, like this is this plays really well. This feels really well. It's so good, and the crystal dragons look like crystal so well. So good! Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on! I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. <laughs> He'll be toasted! <laughs> Love the look of that. Damn you! Whoa! Have to grab all the gyms by manual. Just loved it so much. Wow. Does it just like stay there now? Cool. Nope. Ain't gonna risk it. Ain't gonna risk it, Chief. Nope. Ain't gonna get me. Now you get to die. Burnt toast. Burnt toasty. I love it! I love it so much! This restores my faith slightly in gaming! I guess that is something to keep in mind. While there will always be those company- <laughs> I just realized something. Activision Blizzard. 
<laughs> these are the same. These are probably the same people that kind of pressured Blizzard's like, make a mobile game, make a mobile game. But then they also greenlit this. <laughs> they also greenlit this fantastic piece of wonder. That's just something that swings and roundabouts, swings and frickin' roundabouts. We're gonna go back. We're gonna get you back to your, your sparkling, gleaning uh, complexion there, Sparks. There we go. Now we have our golden firefly back in uh, back in action. What are you gonna sound like? You didn't have a voice actor before. Wow. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Not a bad voice. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. How dare you, Kazarad. Spyro Mobile win? Ready to go? When I shank you. When I shank you so hard with a toothpick. But so good. He's so good and lovely and wonderful. And no flappy wings are uh, blowing a fire in the hot air balloon, but that's okay. Spyro understands safety. Spyro understands safety. I just love it. Even the little box, the little the little air balloon box, it looks so nice. Just looking at this is like this is like my favorite aesthetic. I'm being raided. I'm being raided by a llama of a party of three. Thank you very much, your llama, and welcome raiding party. We are enjoying the absolute fantastic aesthetic of Spyro, the Peacekeeper's music. That shield! It's so good! It's so good! It's so wonderful! It's so magical! I love it! Welcome to Peacekeepers. Look how our treasures so have been stolen and turned against us. Please, recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Love that guy's redesign! Love this game! This game rules the world! Rules it so well! I love it! Love it so much. Hey, they've, uh, that guy looks really good too. Love your love your hat, man. Love your hat, man. Hmm. <laughs> Cosred says, "Oh wait, they had the GBA games, didn't they? So I guess they already have mobile." The hilarious thing is, a lot of people think that those were really good compared to some of the other 3D Spyros we've gotten over the. Oh, I love this little. This oh, I love it. Just the small details. They actually added a thing for you to push. Let's get a look at you. It looks so good. I love it. They added a thing for you to push. Yes. Just yes. Wait, no. Damn it. I have to see it. Show me your bum. Ah, uh, they don't moon you. Uh, that's a concession we have to make. Because honestly... Would you want to see a Nork ass? Like at all? I wouldn't. That's just something we have to accept. While it was in the original, do we really want to see it? Do we? Do we really? No, the answer is no. These redesigns are so good. Spy has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterfly. I have to say it again. Well done, everyone who worked on these games. Cause I love it. This is, so far, this is true to the spirit of the original. It's so good. It's so good. And the cool thing is, if I'm correct, at the very least, uh, there was one person who got a job working on one of the remakes because I think they were handled by different studios when it came to certain things. And one, like, 3D modeler actually got a job working on this on these games because they made 3D uh, fan written, uh, like, like, uh, 
like 3D fan renders of Spyro and different Spyro characters. Which also reminds me how in the uh, the recently announced uh, Detective Pikachu movie, they actually hired the, uh, a guy who was known for making hyper realistic, well, quote unquote, hyper realistic Pokemon fan art. Less hyper realistic. I love these dudes. They look good. Like not really hyper realistic, but like realistic redesigns. Like still stylized, but you could noticeably tell it was a less of a cartoony look. And they were really aesthetically pleasing. And you can really tell from the trailer in certain parts, like, yeah, his influence is, well, their influence, I guess. Because I do not know. You don't want to misgender people on the internet. It's very bad. Very bad thing. People get angry. Ow. <laughs> okay. Getting hit was worth that effect. That effect looks so good. Hey, Conan. Lal, what do you have to say? <laughs> I like it. Releasing me, Spyro. That's a cool design. That makes me think of that. I forget. There's this like fairy tale-ish thing about a guy who like I got stab at that. Ow. Like this uh like kind of uh Spaniard-ish armor. And like he goes around fighting dragons that are actually windmills. <laughs> I didn't expect you to come for me like that. <laughs> I forgot that he uses he uses the vulture as a club. It has been far too long. It has been far too long. The charm in this game, it's so good. This is this is Spyro. That's basically it. Hey, Boris. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. This entire thing is just so lovely. Get out of here. This is basically what Spyro is. This is Spyro to me. This isn't a remake. This is Spyro. Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. This is basically Neon Gushes and Loves. Spyro the dragon re reignited. Like, this just re- <laughs> This reignites my love for Spyro. My god. My god. This is just fantastic. This is what I've wanted out of Spyro. This is Spyro. And I just re- I just want more Spyro games. I'm pretty open when it comes to, like, genre, because, like, again, I liked the, uh, I liked the Elijah Wood trilogy, Legend of Spyro the Dragon, so, so long as it's fun, looks nice, plays nice, I don't really mind, like, at all what they do with Spyro. There's already been three versions of Spyro over the years. There's been this one, the Insomniac original. There was uh, The Legend of Spyro the Dragon, Elijah Wood. There was a uh, dear old, dear old uh, uh, Skylanders, which I guess is still going on. I don't know. I don't keep up with Spyro lore. Uh, in, well, Sk Skyro. His name was now Skyro. <laughs> Spyro the Dragon hey, as a Dalek. How dare you, Listen, Internet? Varg. We've known... Uh, You've known... Ah, uh, I forget. That's the one thing I never understood about the original Spyro. What is with the Destiny Stick? What? That, the, uh, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I think there's a pathing issue. Toys for Bob. 
I think th I think the vulture tried to grab me when I was in the building. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. But uh, dip, dip, dip. I was thinking of a thing. Oh, does it? Ah, I need I need to make sure to look at them, see if it if they changed anything. If it's more than just an explosion. Feed me fireworks. Yay, there's a little bit of fireworkiness. I like it. And we fly. Please make it. No! I still need to get used to the gliding. That's the one thing that I'm not used to yet, is the gliding. Because they definitely reworked the physics, which, of course, they did. And I need to get used to them again. No! I forgot you respawn. <laughs> but so far, like, even if I die to the gliding, I feel like it's my fault. Because I'm like, ah, just go. I need to wait and fly. Just need to get used to it and work it. Work the flight. Work the flight patterns. Please make it. No! Damn you! Man, I suck at the gliding in this remake. It could be something along the lines of the uh, Insane Trilogy, because if I'm correct, in the Insane Trilogy, they based the uh, they they based the platforming on like spot uh, on Crash Three instead of like Crash uh, Two or One or something like that. So that's why in Crash One, some of the jumps feel crazy. Be, uh, like crazily hard because they weren't uh, adjusted for that which this could be another one of that because I'm fairly certain that the this remaster is remaster remake blah 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 is handled by the same people <laughs> oh please please plucks plucks yes 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 I did it I didn't die too much but I just love it like, it would take something horrendous to make me not like this. And so far, I can accept a bit of wonky gliding. I can accept some deaths. For now. Hopefully, I don't get super duper angry. Because I want to say that there's like one moment in the second spiral game that- ah! Out of nowhere, Vulture! Are you a cousin? To the stinking Castlevania birds, to the, to the, to the diddly dang diddly do dudes from, what is it, Ninja Gaiden bird? Are you a Ninja Gaiden bird? 